What up, gang? This is Ken Zark, Ken Zilligan, Zika Milligan, the villain for the Trilligan, and we are back on Tsukihime. We got into a small little fight with um Seal and Arukai. Arukai was about to kill Seal. We was like, no, don't do that. And then Arukai was like, fuck you, and then ran off. And then Seal was like, why did you save me? It was like, because I didn't want you to die. So it was like, fuck you, and ran off. So... Now we're picking up from that death. Oh, shit. Hold on. Eighth day, October 28th, Thursday. Chapter, death. A hot summer day. The blue sky is large and large columns of summer clouds. The breeze wafting by and the droning voice of the cicadas. Hold on, the cicadas are crying? The sound of the cicadas. Chirp! Chirp, chirp! Chirp, 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 chirp. So loud I want to die. In the clearing, the discarded shells of the cicadas. As if the sun is right in front of me. It says if the sun is right next to me. The clearing burns with an intense heat. A hot midsummer day. As if the entire world became a frying pan. Wah, 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 wah. Akiya is crying as a child collapsed at her feet. His white shirt is painted red with blood and he doesn't move at all. Looking down at him, my hands are red, just like that child on the ground. No, that's not it. These hands are red with the blood of that child. Damn, so we killing niggas. Okay, I see you, I see you. Oh shit. A grassy plain hidden from the sun, raised only by the moonlight, proud white flowers. Under the transparent moon, a lone woman of pure white, not even knowing words, not even aware of herself, only treated as a method of killing. The white woman stained in fresh blood is completely free of injury. The crimson saturating her dress is only the blood of her enemies. The only time she's allowed in this brief moment of time after her bloodstained homecomings. What waits for her after that is only a sleep she cannot awake from herself. The white girl does not even know her fate and just looks up with distant eyes at the moon. I thought I saw eternity there. Is it an illusion? It probably is, but I don't care. The fact that her figure has eternally seared into my memory is truly... Whew. I feel like I had a nostalgic dream and I wake up from my slumber. Ah! As if I wasn't breathing before, I suddenly take a huge breath. It makes me want to wake up completely. I'm in my room. After that, after my separation with Senpai at the park, I must have somehow returned to my room. Seal, senpai. I can't forget her face. Why didn't I say anything back then? I was still attracted to Arokai even though I knew she was a vampire. So even if senpai was a vampire, I shouldn't have been that surprised. I should have laughed. If I laughed like it was a joke, she probably would have laughed with me like always. Nah, I... I really wanted her to stay a senpai. The uneventful but peaceful and fun time I spent with Senpai at school was very precious. Damn! But that's all over. She'll never come back to school as Senpai ever again. What should I do? I don't know. I wanted to search for the vampire's lair and kill him, but I can't even look for him by myself. I've cut my ties with Arokai, and me and Senpai are fighting right now. Now I won't even be able to see Senpai again. I put on my glasses and get out of bed. It's past eight o'clock in the morning. It's long past my usual breakfast time, but today is a school holiday. Isui isn't here? Her familiar figure is standing in front of the door like a shadow was missing. Once again, my light headache returns. In addition to my new, unfamiliar life at this mansion, the events of the past few days were very stressful. I let out a deep breath. I don't know what I should do. 
But I have a lot of time to, but I have a lot of things I have to do. If I'm worried about Senpai, I can just go to her apartment. All right. If anything, first comes breakfast. I can't work on an empty stomach. Shaking the sleep from my brain and body, I head toward the sitting room. Hisu is in the lobby doing something. She must have been redesigning because she's carrying a chair. Isui! As if suddenly realizing I'm here, she walks quickly towards me with the, with the usual soft footsteps. Good morning, Shiki. Yeah, good morning. Sorry for selfishly waking up whenever. I am sorry for not being there when you woke up. Please forgive me. Isui suddenly bows her head. The going out last night and not remembering how I came back to my room. Being apologized to like this makes me feel like a horrible person. There's no need to apologize. I just woke up whenever I wanted to. It's okay if you want to complain. Like now, unless she's strict on me, my spirit might waver a bit. Chicky. Ah, oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I want to eat some breakfast. Is it already made? Nason is outside. If you want to eat breakfast, it is already prepared in the dining hall. Dining room. Oh. I'll go eat then. Sorry for interrupting your work. After saying I'd see her later, I head towards the dining hall. After finishing breakfast, I return to the lobby. I should go back to my room and change, even if I decide to head to Senpai's apartment. Oh, shit! My toe bangs into a chair. Fuck! Why the fuck is there a chair here? Oh, that's right. It's the chair Hisu was carrying earlier. Since it usually isn't here, I just banged into it walking normally without thinking. Damn it! I must be really out of it to hit such a thing. I give a sigh. But Hisui is Hisui. Why does she have to put a chair here? What was she thinking in the first place to put a chair where people walk by? The toe I banged on the chair still hurts. It's an excessive pain. A pain that would have never been there if the chair was never here. Hold, bro, calm down, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro's about to get his fucking, he's about to take his damn glasses off and cut Hisui up or some shit. Calm down, bro. How annoying. Don't know. I was supposed to see Senpai, so why is this suddenly getting in my way? This chair is an incredible annoyance. Why is such a thing here? It never should have been here. If it wasn't here, I never would have stubbed my toe. Bro, hold on, bro. Bro, I get mad and kick the chair. Bro, nigga, chill. Throb. As soon as I do that, the toe I kick with hurts even more. Throb, 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 throb. Why you? What a bothersome thing. Disappear. This chair is an eyesore. This chair, 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 this chair. This chair! 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 All right. This chair. 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 Shiki. Huh? You silly? Why are you rushing here all of a sudden? I say that truly surprised. I'm breathing heavily. My chest heaves up and down. I feel like I just ran a marathon. Huh? Why am I so out of breath? I gasp hungrily for air. Shiki, what are you saying? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Did something happen? Shiki, are you saying you do not know what you were just doing? What I was doing? But I wasn't really doing anything. Oh! My headache returns. I shake my head to get rid of it and suddenly realize what lies at my feet. What lies there are the shattered remnants of the chair. Huh? Thump. My heartbeat pounds harder. I did this. Yes. That is the result of you holding the chair and smashing it against the floor many times. Damn! What? Why? 
Why did I do that? I did think that my toe hurt from running into the chair. But why did I go that far? Why did I get angry over something like that and break it like a kid having a tantrum? Shiki, are you feeling well? If you're sick, I can call a doctor. No, it's nothing. It's really nothing. Sorry, Hisui, I just felt strange. I stepped back from her. I stepped back from the pieces of the chair I just destroyed. Shaky, please calm down. Breathing like that is not good for your body. I'm fine. Leave me alone. I want to be alone. Just let me be. I shout that out and run up the stairs. I passively note I seem to be running away from her. I return to my room and throw myself on the bed. Once again, my temple starts to hurt once more. Throb, throb. As if a new heart had emerged in my brain, my head pounds painfully. Gah! It hurts, it hurts, it hurts! This pain probably caused my earlier violent behavior. Having to see death so much these past few days is messing up my brain. First, I need to calm down now. As long as I keep my glasses on, this headache shouldn't get worse. What am I doing? I have to go see Senpai quickly. But if I see her when I'm like this, I'll only hurt her. I have to calm down, quietly. If I just sit here quietly, my headache will go away. It's not going away. See? It's disappearing. My room is very quiet. That sound right there is going to give me a fucking headache. In this room, with only the ticking of the clock, I should be able to calm down quickly. Tick. 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 Tick, tick, tick. The ticking of the clock. Tick, 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 tick. Shit, can't you shut the fuck up? Tick, 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 tick. Hey, tick, 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 tick. I told you to fucking be quiet. It stopped. With a crash, the clock stops. We don't stop the clock. It's quiet. Yeah, that's better. Now I can go see Senpai. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're in a state to be going outside and visiting people. I walk out the front door. The sky is painted a brilliant blue. I walk towards the gate. At that moment, I hear a noise from the garden. Hmm, that's odd. Hisui was in the lobby picking up the pieces of the chair. Gohaku was outside and Akiha is at school. There shouldn't be anyone else here at the mansion. I arrive in the garden. Come to think of it, most of the time we spent playing was in the garden. Since coming back here, I've been busy with many things, so I haven't had a chance to walk around the garden. Russell. That sound again. Seems like someone just walked through. The fuck was that? Huh? Hisui? It's Hisui. It seems she doesn't notice me, as Hisui is making her way towards the woods. She doesn't seem to notice me. Does she have something to do? She enters the forest. A bit curious, I follow her from a slight distance, and... Where Hisui is headed to, there seems to be a small clearing. There's a clearing there. Tilting my head to the side, I try to remember, but for some reason my memory is a bit vague. In the forest of the mansion, I, see, I can see a clearing as if the trees were cut there. No, can see isn't quite right. If you walked by normally, you probably would never notice it. If he so didn't walk there, hit it enough by the surrounding trees as it is, I would have never noticed even if I lived here all my life. There's a clearing there. If so, we probably did play there as kids. To say the least, I don't remember ever playing with Akiha in the guard in the clearing. I feel like I've never been there before. After thinking for a bit, I decide to go into the clearing. The clearing doesn't strike me as anything out of the ordinary. There's no sign of Hisui who entered before me. What's this? Just an empty place? I walk to the middle of the clearing. This clearing really is just an empty space. The perfectly level open ground. The deep woods enclose the area. The voice of the cicadas. And the strong summer sunshine that feels like it could dissolve. Huh? Summer sunshine. Ouch! 
the wound on my chest starts to hurt, like stabbing this pain that feels like a kitchen knife stabbing my chest. Chirp, 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 chirp. chirp. From somewhere I can hear the voice of cicadas, but it's autumn now. The summer sunshine that bathes everything in white. The columns of summer clouds in the far off sky. I can practically see the voices. At my feet, there are discarded shells of cicadas. Discarded shells. Someone's discarded shell. I'm getting angry again. I finally calmed down earlier, but I'm feeling annoyed again. I have to meet Senpai. I have to hurry and meet her and tell her I wouldn't care even if she was a vampire. But what is the truth? Could I honestly say I could smile like I did before with her even if she was a vampire? Someone's crouched silhouette. The approaching footsteps of a young girl. The columns of clouds in the far sky. The discarded shells of cicadas. When I realize it, there is my body pierced to the chest and killed. And looking down at my corpse in surprise is my figure as well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, what? My chest hurts. I feel like vomiting. My wound is healed a long time ago, but why does it hurt so much? My chest is broken. The old wound opens. Blood flows forth from the opening. What is this? My wound, it hasn't healed at all. It hurts. I'm scared. I'm assailed with dizziness. This is the impulse called death. My consciousness sinks. My wound hurts. I hear the sound of my own body collapsing on the ground. I can hear voices talking. Akiha, are you not going to call for a doctor? Don't be stupid, Hisui. There's no way I could do that since Nissan's wound isn't normal. Akiha and Hisui are talking. This is Shiki's room. It looks like I am now sleeping on the bed. I plan to say, yo, and get out of bed, but I can't move at all. My chest doesn't hurt anymore. My body is as heavy as lead. All I can move are my eyes and mouth. Just what in the world were you trying to do, Hisui? You know not to let Shiki go near that place. Please forgive me. This can't be solved by apologizing. You were assigned to serve Nissan to, to avoid this kind of situation. So what were you doing? Completely different from her usual manner, Akiha gives full vent to her anger. In comparison, Hisui is accepting the scolding silently looking down. I'm not sure how this all came about, but I can at least tell Hisui is being yelled at because of me. Answer me, Hisui. What were you doing and where were you all day long? Hisui doesn't answer. The air grows tenser between them. Biting her lip, Akiha takes a step towards Hisui. Even not understand that Akiha intends to hit her. Hisui seems to know this as well, but she just stands with her head hung in shame, ready to receive it. Hold on, Akiha. Nissan, you're awake. Damn, you were loud as fuck. I woke up. Loud ass. Akiha looks away uncomfortably. Hisui still keeps looking down, not even trying to look at me. You know, you should've let it out on Hisui. I don't know the circumstances, but this has to do with me collapsing, right? It's not her fault, I just collapsed on my own. I strain hard and somehow manage to lift the upper half of my body off the bed. But that's all I can manage, and I don't think I can move even an inch more. But since Hisui is depressed, I have to force myself to act as fine as possible. Honestly, getting into a fight over me... Even if you look like an adult, you're still a child. But you completely fainted. You were out for more than 10 hours, and nothing like this has happened before. If you never woke up, what would I have done? Fucking dumbass, don't say things like that. Wasn't this just anemia? Huh? It's 10 o'clock already. Yes, you've been unconscious since noon. Akia speaks hesitantly. All the strength drains from my body. 
I must have slept that long since I must have slept that long since then. I wasn't able to go to Senpai's apartment and just slept the time away. Man, I haven't passed out this long since elementary school. Oh yeah, I did pass out often back then. Wasn't used to living at the Arimas and I was stressed out. Everything is still woozy like I'm still dreaming. Blinking out, I stare at the ceiling as I remember some of my past. That is true. It has only been a week since you came back here. Nissan, you must be exhausted. Yeah. I felt that today, didn't you? So please, rest today. Your health is weaker than most people, so your body gets tired unless you take a day off sometimes. She looks at me with a serious expression. Just like she says, I should just forget everything. I shouldn't think about senpai or vampires and just rest, or I'll really tire out. Going on a rampage like that and smashing that chair must have been something wrong with me. Yeah, like you say, I'll just go to sleep. I lie back down. Really? You're not gonna sneak out of the room later? What, you don't trust me? I guess not. Because these past few days I've been ignoring her and leaving. Hisui, tell Kohaku that Nissan is awake. Nissan, what about dinner? Oh yeah. No, tell Kohaku I'm sorry, but I don't think I can eat right now. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I understand. And Hisui tell Kohaku that. Still looking downcast, Hisui nods and leaves the room. Well then, lying down in bed, I start to feel sleepy again. Like this, I bet I could fall asleep in a minute. But before that, Akiha, there's a place like that in the garden? Yes. When we were children, we used to play there often. Oh. For some reason, I don't remember it well. Yeah. I really did forget all about it. And one more thing, it's a weird question, but when we were kids, wasn't there another kid with us? Huh? She tilts her head like she doesn't understand what I'm saying. I guess so. There couldn't have been another kid. That was just a dream. That clearing. Myself as a child killed by someone who looked like me. There's something wrong with that. That's true. What am I doing here right now? No, it's nothing. Just talking about a dream. Is that so? Then good night. Please rest well. Yeah, I will. The instant I answer her, I'll fall asleep almost as if I just passed out again. So we just died. You know what? That's some real shit. Some real shit, you know? Real niggas just suddenly fucking die. See, if you's a real nigga like me, you wake up in the morning, you break a you break a random ass chair, and then you just fucking die. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the episode. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Tap into the next one. Man, it was a short chapter. I'm kind of glad since I've wanted to, you know, play fucking Sparking Zero anyways. But shit, honestly. Regardless of that, because this was such a short chapter, I might be able to record uh, another episode of Tsukihime after that. Or maybe maybe I'll just play a fuck ton of like another game. I don't know. But I'm going to be recording. I'm trying to record as much as possible. I want to get as much done as possible before fucking uh, Court's Party comes out. Because when that drops, nigga, when I drop, every series gets dropped. <laughs> every series has to bow down to the fucking king. You feel me? But peace out. I love y'all. Type into the next one. We're going to get into day nine.